materials? I mean, I know we're using PLA here, but uh, I've heard a lot of people asking questions about what exactly is PLA, and then what other kind of materials can you use with a 3D printer? Sure, yeah, PLA is uh, you know one of our favorite materials uh, to use early on in the uh, development. It, it, it smells good, it kind of smells like popcorn. Uh, yeah. The office really kind of enjoys the printer running, and. Uh, you know, it, it's easy to work with, and uh, you know, we're able to get through our designs really quick. Uh, we've also uh, used uh, ABS. ABS is a, a much stronger material. It's something we would use more in an end-use uh, case for an, you know a product that you design. Um, we also are experimenting with nylons and polycarbonates. Okay. Um, and every day, there's really you know a, a new type of material that hits the market. Uh, we recently saw a wood material, uh, yeah. and it's uh, really really cool. Excited to see where the material industry can take us in yeah. the next uh, next few years. Yeah, I've, I've read a few of the really exotic things out there where they're printing with bio materials, Absolutely. and then people working with different kinds of metals and those types of things. Mm -hmm. But for the basics, for for the basic user, for the rapid prototyping, those kind of things, a PLA is what uh, what's used now. Sure. What is PLA? What does that stand for? Oh, it's a polyacetic acid, and uh, it's a biodegradable plastic. It has a kind of a cornstarch base to it, and uh, uh, it's really a you know one that we really like to use in the office because uh, we, we don't have to vent any yeah, fumes out no or anything like that. No hazard to worry yeah. about there. So yeah, mm -hmm. excellent.